Okay guys, so today I'm gonna take you through what AI cold email actually looks like so I can show you how easy it is and, and what better way than to just bring you into the agency as I'm creating a campaign in real time. So this is a campaign that's generating one of our clients about 37K a week right now in deal flow. So that's over 120 grand a month on the low end in terms of deals and sales opportunities from a cold email campaign that literally takes me I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, if not a half hour to, to put together end to end. Now, granted, I have the templates and workflows already created, but this is something that we've been adjusting over time to optimize for the best results. But this is probably like AI, AI cold email to generate deals for other businesses is probably the single most lucrative opportunity on the planet right now. Like this is just the hottest space to be in. Clay.com is the single hottest most lucrative tool that you can learn it's it's stupid easy to learn i'm showing you exactly what to do like this like i'm fulfilling for a client right now this is this is this is for a client now granted i'm only going to show you a small piece of it but this is what it actually looks like in real time to do this for another client i don't think there's another person on the internet who's going to show you this kind of thing and i was granted permission by my client to do this for you guys because we've been documenting our work as an ongoing case study. Now, a lot of you guys have been requesting, literally, no joke, thousands of requests I've been receiving in the last you know, three or four days for like a complete end-to-end -end video. Like, how do, where do I start? How do I get started? How, I do, how do I do this in, in a couple of hours, right? By the way, if my video lags, I apologize. I'm using some really intensive processes right now to, to get this done while I'm screen recording. But um, I say all that to say, if you're not on my newsletter, you should sign up. The link is in the description. It's free. Um, but I keep, I keep folks updated with stuff I don't necessarily put on here. But long story short, there will be like a free several hours long course that I'll be putting out just on YouTube. I won't, you know, not selling it. It's just going to live on YouTube. And with that, you will be able to, you will have everything you need to do this for yourself you know exactly what to do, where to go, what tools you need, what budget you, you'll have everything. And it'll be everything you need to go out and get clients and start really cashing in and start making money with this thing. You won't need to purchase anything. You won't need to go anywhere else. It's all the stuff that I wish I knew ahead of time. I've been building it. I want to make it right for you because once it's out, it's out. I don't want you to have to waste money or waste time anywhere else. So like I, I know what that's like to, you know, get into something in the wrong way. So I'm going to set you up right. Just give me just give me a couple days, about two, three days or something like that. OK, but anyway, um, so 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 this is what AI cold email looks like. OK, so it's it's very simple. Allow this to just be an intro video and then allow me to put out some more videos showing you how to set all this stuff up. I think there, there's also an avenue to where. I will give you these templates, workflows, my own AI GPTs that I've programmed to write the cold emails, so on and so forth. But let me just, uh, let's just show you what this looks like, okay? So this client that I'm doing this for happens to be a staffing agency. The, the, but this sort of applies for, this applies for any of my other clients. This applies for consulting firms, this applies for financial services, any sort of B2B business manufacturing firms can use cold email. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the contacts that we're going to email, right? The, the folks that we want to be, that our clients, well, that my client wants to be doing business with. So in this case, their type of client are companies who are hiring for a position. But don't get so fixated on that. Just know that you, you, know, you need to find the people that you want to reach out to, right? We just need to find leads, cont people, their contact information, right? So that's what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do here, and again, don't get so fixated on like the little things I'm doing, just focus on like the path that we're taking, right? So what I'm doing now is I'm going to a database of contacts called Apollo. This is Apollo.io. You, you might have heard of it, okay? What I'm doing here is I have a bunch of filters set of companies I don't want to target between, you know, 11 employees and 10,000 employees. This is for my client. This is a custom strategy that we've worked out, right? Of people who are most likely to want to do business with my client, right? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just pasting in a list of 
companies who we've identified might be in market for my client's services. Okay, don't, don't worry too much about that. We're just finding people to email right now. That's, that's all you need to know. Okay. So there's diff again, different filters that we've sort of, you know, put in place, right? We want to target people in the U S we want to target CEOs, presidents, founders, so on and so forth. If you look at this little menu on the left right here, right? So they're just different criteria and we can get really, really granular, but this is where we're at right now. And so again, we're only using a drop in the bucket because usually I'll do thousands at a time. But right now, if you look at this number right here, it just says we've identified about 114 people. So you can see that right there. Okay. That's that. All right. I know this is lagging, but just, just stay with me. Okay. Stay, stay with me. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't have like a full budget production studio. Okay. <laughs> I just own an agency. That's it. This was never planned. So what I'm going to do now is, so I've, I've identified some suitable people, right? And what I'm going to do is we, we need to take this and we got to put this back in, in clay.com. We got to put it back in this little spreadsheet so that it just runs itself and it automates. So right now we're going to use an AI tool called a scraper to scrape all this information, to take it out of Apollo and bring it into Clay. We're going to put it in a spreadsheet and then upload that spreadsheet into Clay. So what we do is we go to a beautiful website called Appify, right? And we're going to use a scraper like this. It's very cheap. If you look up here on the top, it says $1.20 per 1,000 leads scraped. I got about 100 leads, 114 leads that I need to scrape. So this is going to cost me maybe 10 cents at the most, right? Really, really quick and easy to do. So I'm going to paste in the URL and I'm just going to hit save and start at the bottom. All right. Now I'm going to see if I should pause this. I probably won't even need to, to be honest. This is already taking me a lot longer. Like I would have already been in clay by now, but I'm, I'm sort of narrating things. Okay. So you can see. And, and again, this is going to be slower because I'm. I'm screen recording. So that's done. That that literally took seven seconds, 17 seconds, excuse me. You can see that right there. And it was slower because I'm screen recording. So in 17 seconds, we pulled all the leads that we need. Now I'm hitting this blue export button on the top right. And I'm bringing this information into Clay. So I, I've, I've taken it out into a spreadsheet. Now I'm going into Clay. Now, I have a table. There we go. Sorry, guys, it lagged. So, so this is like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. If you guys have ever seen Microsoft Excel, this is going to load a little slow again because I'm, I'm screen recording. But here's the really cool thing with Clay. Okay, this is when like it gets crazy cool. It's really simple. Just don't get lost. Just follow along. So all these columns, a lot of these columns have like chat GPT installed into them like plugins, right? Or whatever other AI tool that I have chosen to use, right? So for example, this column right here that says job title, see how that has the chat GPT logo in green right there? I have chat GPT as a plugin, right? And so what it's doing is, I'm just going to show you. Like all, all these columns are sort of linked, right? So I have my instructions for chat GPT on the, on the right there. Let me get myself out of the way. So what this is doing is taking the job title of a position, right? Which is, which is unformatted. So it'll say like, I don't know, it, it'll, it'll be in a weird format. Of course, of course this is lagging. It'll be like marketing operations manager, level two or something, some weird job title, some internal information. And so I've programmed this column to take whatever is in this column right here. Oh God, get out of the way to take whatever's in this column right here and just make the job title normal, just normalize it, right? Just clean it up. Right? So if I were to hit this play button right up here, it would run all like it would run this entire column where it says unformatted job title. It would, it would run this entire thing and give me formatted job titles. Okay, so I'm gonna try and show you a bit of an example. So let me delete all these rows and just stay, stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Give me one second, okay? 
All right, so I just paused that so I can I could delete all those all those rows. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is just import the spreadsheet of the contacts we got from Apollo. Okay. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to add to table and I'm going to run all the rows. And you are going to see something pretty interesting here. All right. See how this says queued right here? So it's getting ready to run all of these cells. Now this column right here is just verifying if the email is valid or not. I have an AI that's that's pl plugged into the cell. This HTTP API, it's it's a name for a plugin, an AI, right? So I could have had ChatGPT in this. I could have had Google Gemini in this column. Any sort of AI it can add as a plugin, right? So it's running this entire column, and you can see on the right it says accepted, rejected. Some of those email addresses we we got from Apollo, they're at, they aren't actually valid or they're old and out of date. As this is happening, at the same time, this column is running, right? This column right here that says Gemini name print, what that's doing is if this email address comes back as accepted, meaning it actually works, then we're going to start doing some more work on this lead. So here we're going to actually take the company name and we're going to normalize it because sometimes the company name will say like Walmart LLC, right? Or something weird like that. Or here it'll say like and and Dural Industries. When we're typing an email, we want to say, hey, Bob, I found Walmart while looking on Apollo, right? Or I found your company while while looking on while looking in Apollo for like best grocery stores. You know what I mean? You don't want to say like I, I I found I came across Walmart Inc. while looking for the best grocery stores in the United States. No, you want to normalize it, right? You want it to sound normal. So we want to normalize the company name because we're going to plug these into like little fillers within the email, right? And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But so this column automatically runs, right? If if the email address is accepted all these columns start automatically running too. So like the job title column starts running, right? So it's normalizing this job title. So C software engineer Java, it normalize it to, normalizes it, excuse me, to just software engineer. Because so what we're gonna do, you know, for this client, we have one of our many different email templates that we created from scratch is like, hey, I saw that you were looking for a software engineer on LinkedIn, right? So we're not gonna say, hey, I saw you were looking for a software engineer bracket Java, you know, it just sounds weird. It just looks like you like are spamming, right? So all these columns start automatically running. I have these turned off, right? But all you like, you can link them together. They're all linked. And I'll show you how to do that in another video, but it's so easy. It's really just a just a section that says, hey, if this and I'll show you right now. I'll show you I'll show you right now. But this is done, by the way, like this, this is already done. So you see down see down here. Oh, you guys can't see that because it's zoomed in of course uh, on the bottom right it says you know it's it's code but it's 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 so it's so easy to do i'll show you guys that in another video but anyway just know that all these columns are linked and you can turn columns on and off but this is done this is this was done before i finished talking like the, this is already finished right so now this is ready to just add into our our, our cold email sender so that took literally that might have taken maybe two minutes or three minutes at, at the most. Okay. So what I'm going to do just to clean this up a little bit is I'm only going to show the contacts with accepted email addresses so that we're not exporting anything um, that doesn't actually work. Right. So I tell people you can, you can do, you can ready up tens of thousands of cold emails in within an hour and they, they don't believe me until they've watched my videos or, or some other uh, person within AI cold emails videos. Um, but I mean, this is it, right? This is it. I'm going to, I'm just filtering, I'm just cleaning this up, right? Cause I'm just going to get ready to export this. Um, so I'm making sure that these are actually filled. So it's not empty, right? Really, really easy stuff, right? You got their first names, you got their last names. It's 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 stupid easy. You can see the number of employees. You can see everything, the company's phone number. You know, ev ev everything, everything, right? 
So this is this is stupid stupid easy. And we can personalize the email even more, right? I have a bunch of columns, you know, that that personalize each first line or whatever it is. But anyway, so this is this is more than good enough. So what I'm doing now is going I'm going to export this into a spreadsheet. And we're going to upload this into Smart Lead, which I have a full tutorial on, but I'll, I'll, I'll do the deep dive when we, um, when we drop the, the free course video in, in, in a few days. All right, so that was done. That was downloaded. So we're going to open up Smart Lead. I'm going to drop this in here. And we're going to zoom in a bit because I know this is hard for you guys to see. So let's, let's zoom in. All right. We are going to ignore the leads that exist in another campaign. I'm gonna hit save, and now I'm just mapping everything, and I'll show you what what that means in a second. First name, like we're plug we're plugging in these variables, right? So, um, do 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 do. You can't see that here. Yeah, I'll, I'll show that in another video. So this is the company name. We're going to plug this into the email. Do, 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 do. Job title, we're going to plug this into the email. Uh, CV focus, informative job title, company, company URL. This I just like to have. Organization state, country, name, state. There's a, yeah, there's a million ways you can personalize this. Company name. Custom field, custom field. Uh, that looks good. Is there anything else I'm missing? Decision. That looks good. All right. So we're importing this. I'm going to skip and proceed. All right. And so, I don't know if you can see this. This is just a very, very basic. Uh, template here. I'm going to block some of this stuff out just for client privacy, okay? But if you can look at this, it just, it has like little placeholders, right? Like hi first name or hey first name, right? I saw a company name is looking to hire for a job title, right? So all these things are getting filled in from the stuff in clay, right? So if we just look at the, and we have multiple versions of, of these emails, right? And then we got a follow-up email that goes out a day later if there's no response. But if we just look at the final email, it just plugs it in, right? Like it, it plugs in the job title, it plugs in the first name, you know, it plugs in uh, the company name. It just plugs all this stuff in, right? And then I just hit update campaign. And that's that. We have this campaign going and we got, we got a bunch of different other campaigns for the same client so you can you can send multiple campaigns for one client with multiple different versions of emails right like all those all those emails we're sending in this campaign have different variations and i'll show you that in a different video but it's not like we're sending the same carbon copy template to everybody everybody gets different wording it's it's all like it's ra it's randomized and it's still very it's it's personalized enough so that it gets their attention Right? It's, it's very deliberate and purposeful. But you know, we're 19, almost 20 minutes into this video, I've been narrating it. So imagine how quickly it, it I, I do this when I'm not screen recording and when I'm not talking, right? It, it's in minutes. And then this generates us, you know, like I said, like this is a 37K a week uh, deal flow campaign, right? Uh, so any, anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions, but I will be going more into more detail in both clay and both smart lead copywriting everything especially with this um the, the this course that i'm going to drop on on ai cold email okay um but yeah you should uh, sign up to my newsletter it's in the description i give out free sauce and uh let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you guys in the next video i'm out peace